A long time ago, when the polar ice caps melted, ocean waters gradually flooded the entire surface of the planet. Cities and villages, factories and airports, forests, fields, and even many mountains ended up underwater. Human civilization, in the common understanding of the word, disappeared. But humans as a biological species survived. Those who managed to escape the flood on the roofs of skyscrapers, on mountain ranges, or on ships, eventually learned to survive in the new world. The most ingenious came up with the idea of extracting fragments of old civilization artifacts from the seabed. The most skilled learned to build ships from that garbage. The strongest and meanest found out how to take these things from other groups. A new civilization was gradually taking shape, living by simple and brutal laws. The laws of the sea. The laws of the age of water. Age of Water is a new online adventure game. Become a sea captain on a post-apocalyptic earth completely covered in water and go on an adventure in a huge open world. Sail through storms, fight and trade, capture other people's boats or build your own. Extract resources from the bottom of the ocean, reveal the secrets of the Age of Water world. Hello everyone, my name is Burning Wiki and welcome to my channel. And before I get started, I would like to ask you all that if you do enjoy my content or find it informative, then please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated. So, I have been playing the demo version of the Age of Water and I really like the game. The water looks absolutely amazing. So what is the game all about? As you can see from the intro, the world has been flooded with water and you are the captain of a speedboat trying to survive. Along the way you will meet new people who can join your crew, repair and shoot the weapons. And together you have to survive this brutal new world. The combat system was a bit simplistic for me. It was just aim and shoot at the circles and well that is way too much hand holding for me. The enemy AI was not that good, it's just spamming you with enemy rockets and machine gun fire. It all felt way too arcade for my taste. Nonetheless, I did have fun playing this demo game. I was hoping there would be fishing in the game. Seeing it is a vast open world covered with water, but nope, you simply shoot at sea mines and collect the dead fish, which was really disappointing. Also, whilst playing the demo, I did not see any diving on the water for resources. Instead, you just have a huge grappling hook on the back of your ship to get resources that are hidden on the water. And this is really a shame and I missed opportunity. Maybe it was just because this is a demo version of the game, but it would have been amazing to just put on a diving suit and go diving on the water through all these buildings that are now on the water. I mean, can you imagine it, right? And the whole game reminded me of the movie with, I think it was Kevin Costner, Waterworld. That's what this game is based around, right? It, it's just a, a version of that movie. I, I kind of like the movie. I know it's kind of a B movie, but I do like the whole concept of this game. It would also be very nice if the game was multiplayer or co-op, but Steam says nothing about that. This game, or any game for that matter, is always so much better when playing with friends. For example, like in Sea of Thieves, in Age of Water, you could have your friends on one ship and have adventures together. The same goes for multiplayer. You meet other players on their ships and that always makes the game so much better, right? It, Steam does say it will have PvE and PvP, so I wonder how that will play out. The game has a simple crafting system. You can upgrade your ship and your guns, but I hope since this was a demo game, it was all limited because of that, and there will be much more to do and much more to craft. Age of Water has a lot of potential. I just hope it will all be used. The biggest fear I have with this game is whether this is gonna be a paid 
or free game because the publisher is Gaijin or Gaijin and they are known for games like War Thunder and Enlisted and these games are all pay to win micro transactions time wall and paywall hell and they really are they are both really good games but the constant whining for me to open my wallet made me quit playing these games i rather pay for a game than have it be a free game because a free to play game is never free to play it will always cost you more than paying a one-time fee up in front right it's just how it works that's why they do it right because they know a free to play game will earn them a lot more money than you pay a fixed amount of money for the game and then they sell you loose dlc but these free games that Gaijin made always keep begging for more money or are paid to win. And, and yeah, that's not that it's never good for the game when it has this. Uh, it, it's not enjoyable. In the end, you always end up paying more for the game in these sold freemium games, right? All in all, Age of Water looks really good. It really runs well and has a lot of potential. The minimal system requirements are a Intel i3-560 or an AMD Phenom 2x4, 8GB of RAM memory and a NVIDIA GeForce 960 or an AMD Radeon R7-370 so basically everyone can play this game and if you want to give it a try go to the steam store page and download this demo game support this channel by giving the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this my name is burning wiki and i will see you all next time Best. I've got one.